It's the end of a flipping era. HGTV stars and former couple Tarek El Moussa and Christina Hawk revealed on social media on Thursday that their hit series, Flip or Flop, is ending after more than 10 years since it first debuted. HGTV confirmed the news of the show's ending to Access Hollywood and issued a statement that reads in part, Tarek El Moussa and Christina Hawk are longtime fan favorite stars on HGTV, and it's true that Flip or Flop is coming to an end after an epic 10 season run as a top rated unscripted series. More than 90 million viewers have watched the popular series since its premiere in 2013. Tarek posted on Instagram, calling the end of the series, which first aired back in 2013, quote, a bit bittersweet. You guys have been with us through it all. You watched me beat cancer. You've watched the babies grow up into the most amazing little humans and everything in between. But I'm not going anywhere and I can promise that you are going to love what comes next. Christina also posted about the news, thanking the viewers for supporting the show throughout the years. From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank each and every one of you who have watched the show throughout the years. I am beyond grateful for the support. I also want to thank the amazing crew who worked so hard to make this show possible. It's been a wild ride to say the least. I'm excited to see what the next 10 years has in store and can't wait to share what I've been working on behind the scenes. The show followed the formerly married couple, Tarek and Christina, as they flipped houses together. The duo split up in 2016. Tarek also stars on HGTV's Flipping 101, and Christina stars on the network's Christina on the Coast. Access most recently spoke with Tarek in September 2021, and he spoke about his relationship with his ex Christina, as well as his current love, Heather Ray Young. You finally got the wedding date, right? Or the wedding venue it was like 14 months? Yeah. Longest engagement? It's the longest engagement. It felt like 14 years, but it felt like two weeks all at the same time. Sure, sure. But yeah, we're almost there. We're at the finish line. Congratulations. How are you feeling about it? How's Heather feeling about it? Like, are we psyched? Is it all in place? Any nerves? I am ready. You know, she survived the bridal shower. Uh, she, we survived the <laughs> engagement party. We both survived the bachelor bachelorette party, which was this weekend. I literally came here from vacation to do this interview. So you all had a. Look that, at that. That, that's, the crowd that's what we're talking about. We appreciate it. that. Um, you all had a joint bachelor bachelorette party, right? And you had an 80s theme. Yeah. Going on to it. I like your style. Wait, oh, look at that. So wait Cute. a minute. So what, what, yeah. did you, what did you guys do? So we ended up going to the JW Marriott in Palm Springs, which turned out to be the perfect venue because it is such a big resort. And we had yeah. 50 of our closest friends. So we hung out at the cabanas. We went to the pool parties. Uh, one night we went into this fun live music restaurant called The Nest. And we just we just had the time of our lives, man. I, could, I couldn't have been happier. It, it turned out better than we thought. Yes, awesome, yes. awesome. And, and she looks so cute. Oh Look my how God. cute. <laughs> and I want to give you so much props. One thing I love watching the show is your friends with your ex's ex, aunt, who's now dating Renee Zellweger. That's really cool that you guys have stayed close. What's that relationship like? Well, it, it turns out that his kid and my kids are brother and sister, you know, so <laughs> <laughs> naturally, you know, honestly, the three kids, we want them to grow up together. We want them to know each other. You know, Ant's part of the extended family, just like all of us. So, you know, we, we welcome him with open arms.